Hey guys, so tonight I am going to be changing the oil in my car. It's one of the jobs that got me started uh, thinking about maintaining cars by myself. Um, and tonight I'm going to do it. I've got my oil, I've got my filter, I've got my new drain plug. Did I say I've got the oil? I better have the oil. I've got the oil. Um, so I've got to drive the car around a little bit, get the oil up to operating temperature and uh, then I can go home and drain it and do the whole thing. Hey guys, so I'm ready to go. I've got the car backed up. I'm about to put it on top of my race deck mounts or whatever they're called. Rhino ramps, there you go. Um, I've got my uh, oil drum or whatever it's called where I'm gonna put the oil. It just drains on the top and then goes into the hole. I've got a drip pan uh, for messy stuff. I've got my oil my mobile one, I've got my breaker bar, I've got my socket, uh, my um, wrenches, my torque wrenches, um, a bunch of uh, bolts to allow me to take off the filter cap and the drain plug. I've got two different types of oil filter. I'm probably going to go with the MAN, um, but the K&M one's supposed to be pretty good, like high performance, all of that sort of bollocks. Um, I've got my uh, widget here to take the top of the filter cap off. Uh, I've got my drain plug and my new um, washer, trusty knife, you know, just in case bears try and attack or <laughs> whatever. Um, I've got my spotlight and I've got my paper towels for mess. So I've got my uh, drain pan in place and you can see here underneath the engine um, there is the drain plug and then there is the oil filter itself over here. So I'm going to take this off first and let the oil drip out and then once that's done, almost completely done, uh, I'm then going to take off this baby, take out the oil filter and also let that drip onto here. Uh, and then I'm going to reinsert the new, or insert the new filter, put the filter housing back on, and then put the new drain plug and the new uh, crush ring, um, what's it called, washer in, tighten it up to spec, and, uh, and then fill this up with oil. Awesome. It's practically orgasmic. Holy shit, that is coming out pretty quickly. Wow. That's coming out pretty quickly. <laughs> Is anyone else wondering if my oil drain pan here is big enough? <laughs> I am. Keep coming. Shit, I don't want this way. It's like peeing in the wrong direction. Come on, play fair. That might be because I've got the car on an angle. Oh. 
Okay, oil filter housing coming off next. That wasn't on too tightly. I'm gonna to have to check the uh, talking for that because I wanna make sure it's, uh, it's on correctly, but that wasn't too tight. Oh yeah. Oh wow. That is also wicked cool. I'll worry about that in a second. I do need to pull this guy out there. Okay, so one thing I've been told is pretty useful to do is to take apart uh, and just break open the oil filter here uh, to see what's going on in your engine. Let's take a look. I don't know if you can see that, but that's one tiny little fleck of something. It doesn't look metallic. It's like four or five flecks from this whole entire filter. So I guess that does make me wonder a little bit what they are. Um, but at the same time, it's not like this entire thing is just completely clogged with crap. Okay, now I'm going to just take the O-ring off this filter housing and put a new oil ring on. Uh, sorry, O-ring on. If I look at this correctly, it's the penultimate groove I've got to put this O-ring back on. Okay. Okay, so I've got my O-ring uh, around the top of the oil filter housing. It's nice and uh, Nice and tight. It's on there pretty uniformly. I use the MAN HU719 slash 5X. Um, played it safe. Porsche, thank you very much. All right, now I think it stopped dripping under the car. So, I need to put this boy back on. Uh, putting the filter in first, and then I'm going to put my drain plug with my new uh, crush washer, I think that's what it's called, um, underneath, uh, and then I'm going to put the oil back in the car. So let's get busy. Okay, so now I can tighten my oil filter cover, which needs to be tightened to 19 foot-pounds. So I've got my torque wrench ready to go. Thank you. 
I've put my oil filter housing back on um, and I've put my drain plug back in with the new uh, washer. I'm now gonna put the oil in. So on the back of the oil here, um, there are five quarts in one of these tanks um, and there are measurements on the side in liters and quarts. So if five is at the top, four left, three left, two left, one left, zero. I've already put five in, so this is gonna be six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Uh, and I understand there's gonna be needed somewhere between eight and nine quarts. Um, I'm gonna take it down five, six, seven, um, and then I'm gonna wait for a few minutes and then measure the oil and see what it says, and then take it from there. Well, I managed to change the oil on my car tonight, which is awesome. Um, the oil indicator within the car still says that it's at the minimum level uh, for the oil, but because my car was on a slight angle while I was doing the job, uh, I think I'm gonna leave it overnight just to let the engine and the oil level settle. Uh, and then in the morning, I'll take a measurement again and then add any additional oil that I need to. But overall, it wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be. Um, it was actually pretty simple. Uh, so when they say this job is simple, if I can do it, anyone can do it. Um, I'm still not 100% sure if I should have had my car at an angle while I did a procedure, but otherwise, I don't think I would have been able to get under there or at least put my, my uh, drain pan under there. So maybe next time I just need to get a shallower but, but wider uh, drain pan. Um, but, you know, I managed to get the plug out, I managed to get the housing off, I talked them to the right uh, level when I put them back on. Anyway, thanks for watching, uh, as always. Like if you like, uh, subscribe if you want to see more, uh, and I'll see you next time. All right, bye. Hold up, yeah, yeah. I had a dream with you and you was waking up with me. But this ain't love, you see it's different than you thought it would be. Rather keep you closer, hoping that you're gonna hold